All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. I'm Nicole Vermeer reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Bob Simmons who is the incumbent District 2 Commissioner and a Republican. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having this program. I think uh, I enjoy the opportunity to be here and to promote transparency as this is doing anytime we get our candidates out. It's good. Yeah. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you'd like to continue being a commissioner. Uh, I'm one of these odd birds that, re that retired from North Carolina and moved up here 15 years ago. And I've gotten to lo love the place and care for it. And I, I've been very interested in seeing it uh, retain its rural and uh, peaceful and very pleasant uh, condition. And I'm de dedicated to that, have been interested in that, trying it. And uh, I think that I've done some good during, this, during my first term of three and a half years, and I'd like to continue on. My work's not finished. I'd like to continue on with the things that I've started. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. Uh, the biggest issues facing our county are probably um, uh, the problems of WIP, uh, how we're going to handle the requirements of cleaning up the bay, uh, getting the place to where it is that we'd like it to be and, and it slipped through not through our fault necessarily but through changes in civilization we've got to we've got to change our way of living to keep the bay uh, and our environment the same as it was and the other thing that goes with that very definitely is how can we keep affordable government and affordable living conditions in Queen Anne's County in a state that is democratically controlled and is spin, spin, spin by its nature and uh, hasn't had a, a balanced budget in heaven knows when in there. Uh, we, that's a real problem for us to be in that environment and still have a, a affordable uh, place to live for our constituents. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? Uh, the uh, four Seasons, in my opinion, is, is a situation that is mainly out of our hands right now. It's in, in the hand of the, of the governor and the state uh, environmental committee and uh, different, different parts of the state. And to the most part, it's out of our hands. But essentially, uh, my belief is that it, it's not an ideal program. It, it, that, uh, I, that our county commissioners some years ago made a terrible mistake by uh, signing a DRRA that uh, tied our hands. The program itself, the development itself, is not smart growth. It couldn't be approved today uh, if it were starting out again. And yet, there's no way to change it or adjust it. We're, we're, our hands are tied. And it is, it could be worse. It, it, it is economically uh, uh, desirable in that it is re retired persons who did not put a heavy financial load on the school system and should help us with some income tax and, prop and property tax. So uh, it, it's overall an okay program, uh, even though I voted against it. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Islands? Well, as perhaps you know, and I know a lot of the con uh, people in the county know, that I have been responsible for completely reworking the proposals about sewer down Southern Kent Island. I started out opposed to it uh, four years ago. I found a way to study errors in the studies that had been made that said it was unaffordable, have it succeeded in lowering the cost of it by many millions of dollars by work that uh, I have led the Public Works Department to do. And I think at this time it's a winner. It is a winner for the citizens of the county because it will avoid that area going down economically and us losing taxes. It helps the bay uh, by getting rid of the sewage that is there, reducing the nitrogen. It helps the people who live there who have failing septics that have health problems and, and have all sorts of, or have potential health problems and all sorts of economic problems from sewer not working, not being able to sell their homes. And it is a win-win for everybody. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public pool for the county and the YMCA project? The, uh, the, if we look at this right in there, uh, the Queen Anne's County needs a, a public pool in there, a public facility 
where it can be used. It's it's it is yes, it is sort of one of the luxuries, but it's a luxury that that we can best provide. We have offered the opportunity to do this to private business, and they've not been able to get the funding to do it. And it is now a situation where the YMCA is coming in and saying, "Hey." Uh, we will take over and manage a pool if you, and we will invest four million dollars in it in funds that we raise, uh, and it's just a, a no-brainer that instead of us doing it ourselves and having the management problems that come with that very specialized area of management, that we should co-op with the YMCA uh, and support them in this joint effort. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at the county, commonly being called the beach permit? The beach permit uh, is, I think, a very uh, good program. It's certainly nothing major. It's caused some, some more, more disturbance than I thought it would. But it makes sense that we know that our beaches are not being properly cared for. We know that there uh, have been abusive personnel there. It needs more policing. It needs more cleanup. We don't have the money to do it. This is a good way to do it instead of tax, increasing taxes to go ahead and to uh, have those who use the beach pay for it. Even though it's not perfect, it still is a good situation of where uh, it, it's a good approach and a good compromise. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. Uh, the county right now has what I think is a good program for for con that combination. It uh, is it needs time to work, and and you can't be sure it's going to work. But it is a situation where we're concentrating on trying to develop uh, small businesses, encourage small businesses to grow that are already here. The chances of us being able to to attract. A, uh, a Mercedes factory or something major to come here, any major uh, development is not likely. We need to grow on our strengths, which is a great place to live. And, and if we put, get entrepreneurs here who will build small builds, businesses, we, we will have, we already have the great people, we get more of them, more of them to live. We do need to, con the state has helped us on controlling the population growth by uh, their legislation that, that protects our farmland more than it was and it is concentrating our growth in our already developed areas and I think we're on a good uh, long-range program for the future. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we discussed or add anything that we missed talking about? Sort of uh, one thing that I'd like to talk about in here is that that uh, that every issue we had has we've talked about has to do with county government and the quality of there and I'd like to say to these people, I have our constituents, I have experience in, in other parts of the states and other parts of the country, and I have to say we have an exceptionally good county government. We have uh, an, an admirable uh, administrator and director, and he his spirit uh, and openness and, and willingness to serve has, has been passed on to the people who work for him. We get a lot for our dollars. We are the uh, fourth uh, from the bottom, uh, only three are lower in tax rate than we are in the state. Uh, it still needs being look lowered in there. And it is a situation where uh, I, s I certainly feel that uh, uh, protecting uh, our government and, and commissioners not being dabbling in, in what they do is an, important, uh, is an important way. Strengthen them. Don't try to get in and second guess them. Thank you. And thank you for participating in our forum. Thank you. Glad to have the opportunity. To watch other candidates who have appeared in the series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.